Hi everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna to help you figure out which tone specific pickup to put in your Telecaster. Well, most of my subscribers would probably know that I'm a huge fan of Telecasters in general. I love playing the guitars today. It is a pretty exciting one for me because I'm gonna be playing four different Telecasters outfitted with four different tone specific pickups. Uh, tone specific has four kind of major uh, styles of pickups. So they have the punchy, the, the blues, the jazzy, and the twangy. So my idea today is to kind of play all four different sets and kind of go through their strengths, what they do really, really well. And uh, hopefully it'll help you figure out if you're going to get one, which is the right one for you. So I have a bunch of my Telecasters. I'm going to be going through a Benson Chimera, nice neutral sounding guitar amp. Uh, I have a couple of overdrive pedals and some fuzz pedals and uh, let's plug these suckers in and go to work. Well, if you haven't guessed already, this is the Twang set, and uh, they are exactly as advertised. They are a good wangy set of pickups. If you're a country musician, really pretty much this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> That nice twangy top, and then when you go down to the neck pickup, you have that good old fashioned kind of, you know, country low pillowy. <laughs> Loveliness and Christmas. Pretty much the way these pickups work is if you're thinking of just the classic Telecaster sound, that's it right now. You have that nice, full, responsive neck pickup, that nice, bright uh, treble pickup, and in between, a nice, quacky. <laughs> those stack sounds. Uh, outside of country, uh, what I would use this guitar for is also surf stuff if you're looking to get a nice waves of sound or something really pretty like the, uh, what's that song, you know, the... Uh Just absolutely gorgeous. The way they break up is they do fight the gain, which adds to that nice stinging right in your face quality. No ice pick at all, but it really is direct in your face and it's just awesome. You know? <laughs> I find that this pickup sounds really, really good with ash or alder, works really well with maple necks. Uh, just a very good all around set. If you just want your Telecaster just to sound like a perfected version of a Telecaster, classic and beautiful, this is the set for you. <laughs> What we have in this Mexican telly over here is the blue set. And the way I kind of like to think of it is uh, the little bit more set, you know, it just has a little bit more of everything. So think of like that perfect classic Telecaster sound, add a little bit more mids, a little bit more power, a little bit more uh, sponginess. Uh, it does have a little bit less twang, but a little bit more fatness in the, in the middle position. So it's not that super scooped position here, that. <laughs> It's a, a very dynamic, very fun to play. Has a nice spongy attack uh, with it, which is really nice for people that like to play slower. You know, they like to hear their notes ring out. It's really good for you, especially if you put a little bit of overdrive with it. And notice with the overdrive, it doesn't fight the overdrive. It lets the overdrive be kind of part of that sound. <laughs> Work
works really, really well with your tube screamer. And another thing I like to use it with is the fuzzes. Has a really nice attack and response with the fuzz as well. Again, with that bloom and that kind of slow build, long note. <laughs> Lots and lots of fun. So if you're looking for something that kind of just is like that classic Telecaster with just maybe a bit more of a modern kind of sound, this is the set that you're looking for. Well, this is the Jazzy set. And it is very, very jazzy. It sounds very clean, very creamy, full and warm. And uh, the reason why it really works well for jazz is because it is very clear in the neck. So when you roll down the tone knob, you get the fatness and the fullness, but you don't lose the definition. feel that the jazz kind of name is a little bit misrepresentative because it is jazzy, but I kind of think of it a little bit different. I, I kind of think of the neck pickup is very, very close to kind of a classic brass neck pickup. It has that fullness and that the compression. Pretty much the closest you could kind of get to that old one without going a little bit too much into the mud territory. Uh, but on the other side of it, it also has a P90 character to it when you write all the tones and everything up to it. It's a nice overwound kind of sound, steely in your face. It, it's really good for classic rock sounds as well if you're gonna get on that bridge pickup. Doesn't quite sound like a telly. It doesn't have quite as much spank, uh, but it has a lot more girth to it. very fun to play with uh, but the really cool thing I like about this set is it has a very unique kind of sounding hollow in between position that is a little bit different than what I would normally hear in a telly middle position see Very, very fun to play with. If you're looking for just a really uh, different way to approach the Telecaster, you're looking for something maybe a little bit more on the overwound single coil kind of side of things, you're looking for something with a really interesting middle position or just a voice that is just, you know, wow, that's kind of cool sounding. That would be this pickup set, sounds great. <laughs> Well, I think you guys now know why this is called the punchy set. This thing is in your face. I'm not running any effects, but you can tell it has a lot more power, a lot more like just energy going at you. And it's a very quick in your face attack, very bold and you know, just mm, alive. Even the neck pickup, it's very, very clear, but it's powerful and it's bold.
just all over the place. It is just a, a great kind of palette. Uh, if you're playing in a big band, it's definitely the guitar that's going to cut right through. If you're a fast player, all your articulation is gonna come through. Sounds really good with the overdrive. It's, <laughs> it keeps all the clarity, it doesn't get muddy, you don't lose the notes. It's just bold power. <laughs> This is really, really strong when it comes to that kind of thing. Good with distortion, uh, very, very powerful. Nice, bold cleans. It's pretty much, uh, if you're a guitar player that just likes to turn everything up on 10 and just rock out, I think this is the set for you. Well, that is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I hope I kind of helped you come up to your decision. Don't forget that I have videos for all four of these pickups on the page for you to check out if you want to see them. Uh, it would probably help you with your decision even more. My question for all you guys out there is, we have four different sets of pickups. Which one is the one that you guys like the most? Which is the kind that you see yourself putting in your acts? And more importantly, why do you want to put them in your act? So uh, write, please write your comments. I love reading them and uh, I'll see you guys all soon. Uh, take care and goodbye.